Well, of course, Ted, it's been a terrible day for Fulham and an awful season as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. You know, if I was them, what I would do is I'd take this off season, really collect my thoughts, pull up my bootstraps, and then next year come back and, and really give Stoke City, you know, uh, you know, a big old heap and plate of payback. But of course, next season, Fulham won't be able to play Stoke, will they? Because they've now been relegated after today's result. That's a thing? Wow, that's... It's a big thing. You know, I was relegated in the fourth grade. I had to go back down to third grade because I wasn't, I wasn't a great speller. You know, still not. What is going on, guys? Money Budget here, and welcome to the next episode of our Leicester City career mode. And, yeah, let's just go on straight into the episode. I want to show you guys the calendar and explain a little bit about the breakdown. So, there are two more months left. We are just at the start of April um, and we're playing against Zenit St. Petersburg in the Champions Cup quarter-final. And then we've got this game against Liverpool and then we've got the second leg in the Zenit game. So we're going to show you those three episodes today, uh, games today in this episode. Next episode will include Aston Villa, United and West Ham. And then there'll probably be a semi-final fixture, maybe. I think the semi-final fixture might be at the end of April, it might be in the start of May. But we're literally looking at about three to four more episodes. And then if we win the Champions League, that's it for the Leicester season. Um, so just to show you guys a little bit, uh, well, to tell you about what my plans are, just to keep you in the loop and, and try and be nice. What I What's actually happened is I'm going to go, be going to America. Uh, I'm going to be working on a, in, a, in a summer camp uh, over this, this summer. So I leave in about two weeks but on Thursday in two weeks time I'll be flying out to America and I won't be back until the end of August so um, I will be doing some vlogs I'll probably be doing them on my um, main well my personal channel I haven't done any videos on that so uh, I'll put the link in the description below uh, just in case you guys want to follow just what I'll be, up, I'll be up to while I'm there so let's go into the game against Zenit St. Petersburg and if we can get the result in the away, well, we've, we've got the, this home match first. If we can get the result in the home match, then it'll be amazing. I think it'll be a really good start for us. Okay, so it is Bayern, Chelsea, United, uh, Atletico, Paris Saint-Germain or Borussia Dortmund. So it's not that bad. I mean, Barcelona, no Real Madrid, no Barcelona. It, it could be something for us, but I've got a feeling we'll get PSG, just like we did last year. We'll get PSG in the next round. Let's see if my prediction can get uh, right. But anyway, we've got to play this game first. We've got to get the win. Oh, no chance here. Oh, rebound. What a save by Foster. Brilliant save. But it was offside anyway. But, oh, what a save by Foster. He's turned out to be a great purchase. Got beat it onto Kishner. Oh, Kishner's done him. He's away. Come on, push into the box. Who's there with him? Puts a cross in, deflected. Oh, Foster oh Vieto, and we've scored. Oh oh Unbelievable. Oh I just pressed B to contest. I didn't know he was going to shoot. And mix up at the back. Kishner whoops in a cross. It's deflected. It falls, and just Vieto steals it and hammers it with a left footed volley. And the keeper doesn't even know where it is. Just as it was about to get cleared, he steals it off his foot. And that is the biggest surprise goal I've ever scored. Zenit is starting to look quite good now. More comfortable possession. They're passing it around a bit more. Kishner's stolen it off though. And Vieto's played it forward for Bakayogo. Bakayogo's got the pace. Can he finish it off? Driving into the box. Bakayogo! Oh, he's hit the post and falls to Vieto! Oh God. And he gets a second! Come on! Oh, it's a little bit of luck, but that was, it was a half and half. Bakayogo's brilliant shot, cannons off the upright, and Vieto is just there. He's waiting, and he pounces on that one, and he gets his second volley of the game. Shah intercepts, Kishner plays it forward, Vieto onto Bakayogo. Oh, Bakayogo's done him. He's having, he's having the time of his life. Bakayogo sprinting through. Can he finish it? Bakayogo! Oh Oh, and it's just a slaughterhouse of goals in this first half. It's still got five minutes left to go, and Bakayogo's just scored his eighth goal in the Champions Cup. Oh, my days. We are rampant. Shah's just the right way, but it falls down. That cheese. Shah made the challenge, and then the Zenit player 
I think it's Garcia who just gets it anyway. It is. And it's just an easy finish. It's a little bit shit that. We don't want to concede. But what can you do? Look at this. Shah makes the first challenge and then it's blocked off. It's just that cheese. You can't do anything about it. And it's one of the easiest finishes Garcia is going to have. Head that out, please. Nice. William gets it. Playing it forward. Oh, there's Vieto. Kishner's beaten him. Kishner's taking it forward. Come on, Vieto. Get up there. Plays it across. Palmieri. Vieto. Oh, it's saved. It falls to Kishner. Oh, it's off the post. Oh, it's offside. And there goes the final whistle. An emphatic first half performance is enough. And Luciano Vieto just falls short of his hat trick. So back in the Premier League. And it's not been our greatest season. We've struggled to consistently make a good impact. And Liverpool are in second. We're outside of the top four now. Down in sixth. But if we get a win, we've got eight games left. And we might be able to claw our ways back into the Champions League places. But it's going to be tough. It is always very difficult. I don't know why it has been more difficult than uh, the Champions League because when we played, you've just seen against Zenit we've dispatched other teams, Wolfsburg we've beaten them and then other teams in the league we just haven't been able to produce. So we're going for a change up in the formation because of Pogba's injury we're basically playing Palmieri and Vieto at cams and we've got Vieto uh, well no, Bakayogo's playing as lone striker let's have a quick look, Wisdom Skirtle, Sacco, Flanagan Lucas Lever, Ada Turan Henderson, Morata, and Barini at the top. Oh no. Oh no. Just fouled him by mistake. And they've got a free kick. Early doors. Arda Turan can take a good free kick as well. He whips it over. And of course he scores. We want the early goal. And they've already scored. That's that plan right in the shitter. Turan can take a free kick. I just said it. And he scores. And Foster, who's a big lad, he can't even reach that one. Willian gets it. Palmieri. Borja Valero. Vieto. Out to Kishner. Some momentum here for Leicester. Kishner looking for the cross. Back at Yogo. Into him. Oh, it's fallen oh in the net. God. It's an own goal. Or is it a goal for us? Is it Borja Valero? Who is it? Borja Valero celebrating, it might be his. Let's have a look at the replay. The cross comes in from Kishner. It just falls in the air. And Mignolet just misses it completely and Borja Valero gets to it for his second goal in the Premier League. There goes the whistle. We'll settle for the point. At least we didn't lose, but I think we could have got a little bit more out of that. No. Insider gossip at Leicester suggests all is not well with Ishmael Bakayogo. With this striker allegedly fed up. And he's wanting for a return. For fuck's sake. This happened with all our best players. We've got had to get rid of Manolo Reyna. Uh, Eric Palmer Brown, of course. I hope this isn't true. I want to keep Bakayogo. He's been so good for us. I don't know why he'd want to move. We're travelling all the way to Russia to play against Zenit. It's a second leg. We've got a two-goal lead on aggregate. It didn't look like it was going to stop then. Farouk Alfaran onto Jensen. Jensen looking for Bakayogo. He lets the ball go. Oh, Bakayogo! Oh that is why we want to keep him. Feed the back and he will score. He lets it run across his body. Loses the defender. See you later. See you later. And he smashes it into the opposite corner and the keeper has no chance that's why we love him onto Bakayogo Bakayogo's lost one he's driving through is this number two for Bakayogo he rolls oh it under God. of course it is oh it's 12 minutes and it's 2-0 5-1 on aggregate and it's another lightning start by Leicester City Obita onto Ibe Ibe's still got it here can he cross it in into the box looking for Danny Ings oh my and we've got a third! It's 6-1 on aggregate! Oh, don't mention 6-1. But it's 6-1 on aggregate, and Leicester definitely through to the semi-finals. 
Head that out, head that out, clear it, clear it. He falls to Yedlin, he can't get rid of it. Oh, for fuck's sake, they've given a penalty. Yedlin goes to clear it out. Vitzel trips over his bloody hair. His afro gets in the way, and apparently that that justifies a free kick. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think he's going left. Ah, it goes the other way. It's 3 1. 6 2 on aggregate. Doesn't matter. Oh, come on. We don't want to see your bloody Samba moves. Can Danny Ings do something here? Oh, he's just taken out. But he's going through. Can he play it across? Looking like for back at Yogo. Intercepted. We were looking for that sweaty goal. But it wasn't to happen. And that should be it. There we go. Final whistle goes. And our target of getting through and winning the Champions Cup is still alive. Our dream is still there. We just need to go through two more games. We've got a semi-final, maybe two legs, I think that is. And we've got the final on as well. Okay, so in other results, Man United beat Atletico. PSG hold on to their lead over Dortmund. And Chelsea overturned a deficit and they beat Bayern on penalties. So it's going to be really interesting. Let's see who we're going to have in the semi-finals. Okay, so we've got an extra 5 million for our Champions Cup results. But the important thing for now is let's have a look at who we got. And we've drawn Dortmund. We're going to see the yellow wall. Wait, we've drawn Dortmund. But didn't they get beaten by PSG? See, it's glitched. We definitely... I remember it said in, in the breakdown that PSG won 3-0. But it looks like Dortmund came back. And they won on the away goals rule. So they go through. And United and Chelsea are the other English representatives in the semi-finals. As we ending on that note, I'm going to do a quick squad report for you guys. Because I know some of the players have changed. Uh, Fraser Foster up to 78. Sutherland, our young keeper, 67 overall. Van der Hart still unhappy. Yedlin's up by one. Hussein's up by four. Lima's still the same. Marquinhos is the same. Shah's still the same. I'll actually swap it across there so you can see. They have actually improved apart from those last two. Some people have improved just a uh, small amount. Sule's up by two, which is great. Perez is up by five out on loan. Obita's up by one. Nice to have him back from injury. Um, I'm just going to fly through these. So if you want to pause and have a look, that's all fine. Zazon currently out on... No, he's, he's here with us. He's not out on loan. Up by three. We've got Bellarabi up by two. Uh, Willian up by two. Farouk Afaran up by one. Rodriguez is still the same. Pogba's up by one. This has just only happened because I know he was 85 um, earlier on in the episode. So 86 overall. 88 for Valero. Thielman's up by one as well. Uh, Ibe up by one. Ribery now down by two. He's still injured, I'm afraid. But he's still going to do a good job for us. Uh, Carranza Mielitz, our 66 year rated uh, central attacking midfielder. Andrew Camille up by three. He's supposed to be our next big thing, scout future star. Luke Cardle up by three. Palmieri up by one. Dugan Albert up by one out on loan. Bakayogo up by four. Look at those stats. He is quicker than Lightning and he's more clinical than. A hospital? Oh, that was terrible. Anyway, he's got 88 finishing. And he's just phenomenal to be playing with at the moment. Danny Ings, still the same. Vieto's increased as well. And we've also got Ndeye Sembi, who's out on loan. He started to increase, up by three. And Ricardo Kishner, up by one to 77 overall. And that concludes the squad report and this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know I certainly did. I feel a lot more excited about the prospects of getting to the Champions Cup and actually lifting it in the league. Things aren't going to plan as much. That draw against Liverpool sees us still in sixth place. But we might have a few good results to see the season off. There's still seven games left. That's 21 maximum possible points. So there might be something that we'd be able to do. Let's just see if we can do it. But until next time, guys, peace.